less troublesome than a lot of players I know. That was the voice of Eddie Gottlieb, a pioneer in professional basketball and now general manager of the transplanted San Francisco Warriors. And this is Tops in Sports, a production of the United States Air Force. This is Kyle Rowe. Today, we will be speaking with one of the founders of the National Basketball Association. But first, this interesting message. On the aerospace team, there's a place for tomorrow's leaders. From Quincy, Florida, here is Chief Master Sergeant L.D. Batchelor. In the Air Force, a young man can find out what he can do well. He can get the training and the experience and the specialty that has a real future. If you aim to be a leader tomorrow, see your Air Force recruiter today. Eddie Gottlieb was owner and general manager of the famed Philadelphia Warriors, but prior to this season, he sold control in the club to a syndicate in San Francisco, and then went out to California with the team to run it as general manager for the new owners. Is that right, Eddie? That's right. Well, now, can you tell us what motivated your sale of the franchise? Well, I'd have to say the uh, price motivated me more than anything else, to be honest about it. Uh -huh. You saw the opportunity after having devoted your life to the building of this franchise to cash it in at a good profit. That's correct. And the biggest equity you had in the club was a young man named Wilt the Stilt Chamberlain. I imagine, Eddie, that without Chamberlain as a property, the sale of the club would not have been possible, or at least not quite as profitable. I would say that there was plenty of value in Wilton, I would say that was the one of the main reasons why they wanted to buy the franchise at that figure. And, of course, uh, actually one of the stipulations in the contract was that Wilt had to come here and play. And I imagine that before you could make the deal, you had to receive assurances from Wilt that he would be agreeable to making the transfer. Right. Well, what was his reaction when you broke the news to him? Well, the reaction was very good, and I think one of the main factors there was the fact that he's building an apartment house in Los Angeles, and that would bring him much closer. I see. He's quite a variegated businessman, isn't he? One of the best. Wilt is really a terrific businessman. What are some of the lines Chamberlain has gone into, aside from the foul line? He's uh, a part owner of a tavern. And uh, this apartment house in Los Angeles, they're his main interests. And Wilt also made rock and roll records, didn't he? That's right. I forgot about that. Yes, he was a singer. And hasn't he taken over that famous night spot in New York's Harlem? Wilt's Small's Paradise in Harlem, which is doing very well, especially with the uh, uh, twists. <laughs> I'd like to get a peek at Wilt still doing the twist. I can't imagine a seven-foot man twisting. Well, listen, in one of the All-Star games we had in St. Louis, uh, Bellamy, who was pretty close to Wilt's height, won the twist contest, and Wilt has challenged him since. Listen, Eddie, about Wilt. You hear things from time to time that the fellow is difficult to get along with. I don't think Wilt's any different than anybody else, and I don't think he's more troublesome. In fact, to be honest about it, he's a whole lot less troublesome than a lot of players I know. <laughs> okay, Eddie, we'll take your word for it, and good luck to you in your new venture. And to Wilt the Twister. Thanks very much, Kyle. It's a pleasure to be on talking to you. That was Eddie Gottlieb of the San Francisco Warriors fans. And this has been Tops in Sports, brought to you by the United States Air Force. This is Kyle Rowe. Tops and Sports is written by Dick Young and produced by Brad Simpson for the United States Air Force in cooperation with this station. They took the blue from the skies and the pretty girl's eyes and the touch of old glory's youth.